Welcome, welcome to our lovely Spielunke special. And no one gives a... <laughs> so, today is something special because not the usual Zuriel is here. He's, he's still here, but he brought a wonderful guest to our podcast. That's why we are talking in English today. Hello. That would be Vogue. And yeah, I'm I'm actually here. I'm I'm writing on Twitter that our little technical problems um have been solved, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. My PC was, was acting kinda weird and my hard disk keeps on crashing and dying and I hope it just calmed himself down and won't happen again. So fingers crossed. So, uh, we're playing Ark today, not only because Surreal likes this game. Instead, Valk is actually a hoster of this wonderful server we are currently playing. And it's a bit more than a server, it's actually a whole cluster, which makes it so special. So, there's a lot of... Um, a lot of people um, like hosting single servers, but this one um, is a cluster. So, um, well, tell us a little. Um, you, you're actually hosting all the maps, right? Uh, yeah, that's correct. I'm currently hosting four active servers, the six in total in the entire cluster. So we are running the island, the center, Ragnarok, and Scorchter. Um, when Aberration comes out, we will be hosting that one as well. Was that supposed to be out already? I, I thought it was like something 10th of October or so. I, I didn't. Is it? I, 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 I thought. <laughs> I, I don't know. As I, you can tell, I've been paying attention. I, no, yeah, you see, it was like. Um, I, I think that was what they announced. It should be out on um, 10th of October, but then we are talking about Wildcard here, right? So. Yeah, it will be out somewhere after Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> it, it will be out somewhere, yes, we can agree on that. And, Soon, TM. Um, so, um, for people who do not know Ark, so the original map is um, the island, and then, correct me if I'm wrong, the next one was center, right? Correct. And that's very um, islandy, actually. It's, it's like an um, archipelago, right? So it has many islands and um, great stretches of oceans between them, if I remember, because I, I'm, I'll be honest, I only played it once or twice. <laughs> may, may I shortly interrupt? Is it on no. purpose <laughs> that you're not wearing any pants? No, they're on my visor. <laughs> I'm just seeing it right now that you are without pants running around. Well, it gives more girl power to on this yeah. podcast. <laughs> and our viewer numbers shoots up. <laughs> She's wearing no pants. Let's watch it now. <laughs> Better? Uh, yeah. Thank you. We actually have a full set of clothes somewhere in the house. So. <laughs> um, all right. So I, I remember you. Um, so you, you did... Um, start with Ark very early, if I remember right. So I think um, I think I met you first week when Ark came out, or some somewhat on one of the official servers, right? Yeah, I was out. I don't know. It was within a few first weeks of Ark, Ark being released, well, released into the left as it were. But yeah, we met on the one fifteen server, didn't we? Wow. Yeah, the legendary 115 server. I mean, now it's a legendary server, but it always <laughs> kind of was. There were there, there were a lot of nice people there actually, and um, Mike was one of them. So, uh, and I remember we did a lot of um, stuff together and um, against each other. And anyway, <laughs> and so um, mm. I'll not talk about those. <laughs> uh, hi, great. By the way, oh, um, by the way, um, all the um, for for people who do not watch our normal podcast, so um, all the chats will be combined, so we can see all of them. So it doesn't matter where you where you post. And later on in the video, we'll 
well, people will also be able to see what you post. So be careful. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, whoops. Speaking of technical difficulties, um, <laughs> so yeah, one one five is um, where we met, and but um, well, we are we are both um, people who started playing Arc very early when it came, almost when it came out. So um, I started in the first week, and since I'm a coward, the first two three days or so, I played single player, um, just um, taking a look and how this game works, and I mean. It's a totally different game by now, I'd say. So there weren't that many dinos. There were quite some, but um, well, they added crap load, right? <laughs> yeah, there has been a lot of changes, a lot of good ones, but also some they could have left out, or at least given us the option to disable. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do not have this got into action. That's right. So. That's something um, our restream service doesn't do for us. So yeah. we, we we'll look at this code later on, I guess, um, if people insist to to chat there, which I see no reason for. But well, if they want to, <laughs> they want to chat beyond us. Um, so I know what makes Arc special for me. Um, I it's it's. I mean, it's it's basically for me. It's it's been a boy's dream. So, I remember when the old BBC um, series uh, "Walking with Dinosaurs," well, the old one, not the new one, um, came out, and it, I was like, "Ooh, whoa, yeah, can there be a computer game like this?" And uh, so, what makes Ark special for you? I mean, there must be some reason you're still playing it after God knows how many hours. Too many hours. I'm about four and a half thousand hours now. <laughs> oh, yeah, you. I, I have half of it. I, I have like 2,100 or so at the moment, which is a lot. It's a lot more than any other game I played, I guess. But um, and, and yeah, those I, are um, all active playtime, not like oh, I'm in the main menu and have forgotten to shut it down. Well, oh, well, I have yeah. about one and a half thousand hours before I got my own servers and but to be honest a lot of that was like idling while I was breeding stuff on official servers and yeah. Quetzal took 19 hours to breed and race to a juvenile back then which was horrific and I still did it three times <laughs> <laughs> didn't I call you crazy back then when you started um, yeah. I, I remember the gigas and the Quetzals I, thought... I did not do the Giga. I refused. I started on the Giga and I was like, you know what? No. And I stopped it. So I just couldn't. Yeah, perhaps you can explain to people what the pain what the pain is when you actually raise dinos from an egg. Because not Box. all not not all people here actually um play ARC, so Well, it's <laughs> still a bit buggy. I mean, sometimes the dino can fall through the world. You need to whistle it, and you need to walk it through the ground or get it somewhere down to the water so it can glitch through the terrain and get it out. Sometimes you can't get it out, and then it dies. Sometimes it just doesn't appear at all, as if it wasn't there. Well, um, <laughs> mostly, some species are just a pain because the food drops very quickly. You need to be prepared. You need to harvest berries if it's a if it's a herbivore or meat if it's a carnivore. You need to have several fridges full of food ready for them. And you need to sit and pull this over in your inventory until they are high enough that you can go round your base and do other things while uh, you're waiting for them to grow. So Luckily, there's very few bugs now compared to what it used to be, especially on official, which is very frustrating when you spent a good seven hours on a dino and you could be gone for five minutes and it had died because bug X something had struck again and it uh, destroyed all of your um, efforts. Well, yeah, and it 
uh, I, I mean, it really can take a very, very, very long time to um, raise a dino. So uh, if you compare it to, to taming one, then I, I, you can spend the whole day um, on, on some of the dinos or, well, but usually even, even more on the big ones. So a, a giga on an official server, I would never do. I would go crazy before <laughs> I, I, I see that through. Don't they have double rates on normal servers though? They're on two times breeding because we're on times four here. So we're like double as fast as a official server. I believe, or did they double it again? <laughs> I don't know. I thought the I thought the double rates were for a limited time. All right, fair enough. But I'm not sure. I haven't played on official server um, since I joined um, this cluster. Yes, I'm guilty. I'm biased. I'm actually playing on Vax um, cluster, which um, I can. Uh, I, I must say it's it's um, the best I joined so far, and I tried some unofficial servers, so. And um, it's a PvE server, right? But it has PvP options also? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, we can always change that at any given time. So we've kind of, at least personally, I prefer PvE because PvP is just, it's not for me. I like the for building pretty things and getting all the dinos and breeding them and stuff like that. But that's why we have six servers in our cluster. We got so we have an event server, and this last one is purely for admin use. For example, if someone loses a dino for some buggy reason, because the game is buggy, <laughs> we put up a, a save file from that server previously, and we can get dinos back for people. And also, it allows us to try out new mods and just in general, you know, admin stuff that you wouldn't be able to do if you just had. Uh, one server to play around with. Ah, so uh, okay, that's um, uh, that's how you do it. I, uh, okay, so if someone loses his dino, he'll get his actual dino back, well, as actual as a digital digital dino can be. Uh, yeah, we uh, because we have free dino and um, person migration on the cluster, so you can go through the portals to the other arcs yourself as a person but you can also bring your dinos um, all the six servers are in the same cluster so I just open up the old save file where the lost dino is and I just upload them to the obelisk and then I download it via an obelisk on the arc where the, play where the person is playing with his normal character so it's just like having an additional map in the cluster only that only admins will have access to that while I um, while I sort it out. Because the idea is that as we get some more people, we're still at that threshold now. We've kind of grown quite a lot, but we still don't have enough people where people are interested in special events. Like we wanted to do weekend events, but for example, set up a PvP server for the weekend. Say with increased dino levels and stuff like that. So you can go there in PvP mode to tame higher level dinos, but difficulty would be increased. And of course, people can kill you, but you wouldn't be allowed to bring your character. You wouldn't be allowed to bring any dinos. So you would be forced to start a completely new character, start all over. So if you got some higher level dinos that way, it would be through, you know. Through uh, pure effort and uh, being fair. All right, I must excuse myself for five minutes today. We have a day of problems, I think. <laughs> but there's something going on, um, I think, in front of the house. I'm, I'll be oh, right back. Okay. 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 Just continue. I'll I'll be back. How many active players do you have currently? It varies because some people only play now and then and mm -hmm. on weekends and stuff like that but I think we've got a good 10, 15, maybe even 20 people who play every day during the week and then we have more during the weekends and you know some people go away for say a few weeks and then they come back and then they're really active again because we do find that people when they first come here 
not a lot of them actually leave. They kind of come on to maintain their dinos, maintain their bases, and to join in on the occasional events as well. Because so we've got a few people who love to have events where they go and fight bosses. Like next weekend, we're going to go and do first all the alpha bosses, and then we're going to do the alpha cave and do the ascension. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, so the regular, would, you would say you have around 10 to 15 regulars that are very active. Yeah. But that's spread across different uh, servers. Usually people have one base per server or more. It depends. Some people are in bigger clans. And sometimes you have the less regulars join up with the ones that are very regular just so they don't have to have their own base. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. It depends, really. But we got we got a nice community going on, I would say. People are very friendly. They're very helpful. And as of now, I haven't had to ban anyone. Yeah, that's... <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done, had any major incidents because that was one of my pet peeves with the official servers. People were being out of line and rude and destroying the game for other people. Yeah. yeah Wildcard wouldn't care. They literally could not care less unless it was very explicit abuse, in which case you could take a screenshot, send it into Wildcard. Wait two to three weeks and <laughs> Yeah, two to three weeks, like, nah, sorry, can't do anything about it. It's not uh, breaking our guidelines. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Bye then. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, it, it it's very hard. I mean, how many official servers are there? 400, 500? I have no clue. <laughs> and and if every one of those would send in one request daily, that's a hell for customer care to take care of. But yeah, it, it's it's not very helpful for the community if you have to wait a couple of weeks till something happens. So there, um, from my experience, unofficial service, the admins are very more active and quicker to react. Yeah, usually if people need me, they'll um, poke me on Discord and I'll be able to come on, whether it be server issues with servers not updating or there being some in-game issues. Obviously, I have work during the day. But we have two active admins currently, which is myself and Tivra. And Tivra is usually active during the day. Then after well, one, one to three o'clock in the afternoon, I'm on and I'll be able to help people as well. So, so people usually don't wait too long. So to you kind of have a 24-7 support for, for players? Yeah, I mean, it completely depends. Like, we won't, we won't reimburse people for everything. Like, if yeah. you lose a, a dino because you're an idiot or <laughs> you don't know how to play the game, I'm not going to summon you new one. But, you know, there are legit reasons why people lose things. And yeah, so like the bugs you mentioned before, yeah. Yeah. And yeah. back. Welcome sorry. back. Sorry for that. And there was an accident in front of the door. So. Ouch. Just wanted to see if I can help, yeah. but seems under control. <sighs> Scary podcast to our viewers, yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of is. Oh, I need something to drink. <laughs> <laughs> Running down the stairs in. Yeah. It's... Double Raptor Temple. It's it's one of those days, honestly. So, um, have you, have you tried other unofficial servers before you started your own? I didn't, to be honest, because I read the forums. And... What what actually killed me? Did I? <laughs> I I haven't seen you around. To be honest, you you were standing under under your Y one, and now you're gone. I don't know what killed you. Maybe maybe this little rat here. Oh my god. I, I, I don't an... trust him. He he tried to strangle me yesterday. I need an admin to get back my equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Which should be somewhere here. This bird um... is mine now, by the way. <laughs> no! <laughs> Forget about it. You, you can copy it. 
<laughs> Pretty sure you can just copy it. This one is mine. You can make a screenshot. That's the closest you'll get. <laughs> it it loves me. It's been imprinted. I, I don't, don't see I don't even see your corpse. No, I don't either. Perhaps he ate it. That's how much he loves me. Tasty, tasty surreal in the morning. <laughs> oh well, well. I can just put on the fell clothes, um, fur clothes I made for you. I can't see your bag underneath the ground either. Ah, uh, you might have been killed by the fall or something like that. Or maybe you were too hot. Were you wearing fur? No, I wasn't too hot. I have fortitude like hell, so. <laughs> um, and, and you never get too hot here, believe me. We've tried, yeah. Check your Vivens inventory. Maybe he was bored and tried to eat you. Well, I think the only worthwhile stuff in there was um, GPS and a few Mastercraft items, but nothing else. So, nothing we can't replace. Let me see. No. Strange things happening today. <laughs> So to get back to the to the question, so you so you never tried other uh, unofficial servers, so so you just went on and said, "I want my own server. Screw this." Uh yeah, correct. Also, oh, sorry, I found your body. <laughs> 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 I think that was my fault. I picked. I thought it was Shrokar, but obviously it was you, and I dropped you, and you must have died. And I'm very sorry. Here's your body. <laughs> my body. My body. <laughs> Yeah, no. I survived by accident. <laughs> it was stubbornness because it was one of them. Okay, I'm playing on unofficial servers. I've spent one and a half thousand hours on here. When I have issues, they're not getting fixed. And it was one of them where it was mixed reviews about unofficial servers. Some are good, others are not so good. There are not a lot of good PvE servers I found. Not ones with realistic rates where you don't hack you know, hack a stone and then you get like 10,000 stone in your inventory. Mm. A lot of people love to go through, through the roof at like a thousand times resource gathering and that kind of thing. So it just didn't appeal to me. So I figured I might as well set one up myself because it started only as one server. I started with renting one through Host Havoc and back then it was called the Center of Old. So started with that, then we're going to then we got an additional server once they um, enabled the whole cluster setup thing. It wasn't too long after I bought the initial server. And uh, from there on, we uh, just added more and more. Cool. So was it actually, um, I, I mean, I've, as I said, I've seen a lot of um, unofficial servers. So um, there's, there's one other server I really like because you can do... Um, fully inconsequential um, PvP there, so because everything is so fast, uh, you can build the whole base in a few minutes because you get so many <laughs> resources and stuff, so. Um, and, and taming is like times 12 or something, so <laughs> that's just so you can um, wreck dino after dino. So obviously that's not the theme behind um, the server cluster, but um, the cluster itself is something um, I, I haven't seen a lot. So was it hard to actually link them or is it something you can easily do? Well, when I first um, had my servers, it was through Host Havoc. <clears throat> and the way they set the servers up, it wasn't very good. I mean, they were poorly set up and one game in the file and one game and user in the file was shared across the entire cluster. So you couldn't change rates on one server and then keep it just like that. It was shared across all the servers so you had no individual freedom to do whatever you wanted with each server. So what, what I did is that I leased the server now through OVH and it's a Linux server. 
and uh, we had some people coming to us from a previous server before uh, Costa set up as well. And uh, one of the former admins and owners of that cluster, uh, one of the uh, women who plays on our cluster at the moment, put in contact with him. And uh, he actually set the server cluster up for us. So we paid him to set the cluster up, and it pretty much runs itself. It's nothing like a lot of the um, rented servers you get, where you need to manually update all the mods, you need to manually update uh, the game servers themselves for this a um, game update. Everything, like 99% of the time, the servers are up and running, no issues. We do reboots every morning, as well as a full backup for security reasons. The reboot and, uh, is someone around five o'clock or so, right? Yeah, it's six o'clock. Yeah, uh, no, five o'clock UK time. So we should do around five o'clock your time. Yeah. Uh, it's a bit spaced out. There's, there's supposed to be a ten minute delay between each server. So. Put a warning for that because <laughs> <laughs> no, you um, do get warnings. <laughs> then I just missed it. Um, but um, one of the gigas we have here, um, he was like a. Uh, what did he start out? He was almost the 150, I think. And um, so minutes before he was ready to get the food <laughs> and be one of us and um, all the bro stuff, etc. So, oh, by the way, the server is going down in 10 minutes. You fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I thought, no! <laughs> what, you yeah, need more warning you... than that? <laughs> Well, you, you get a 15 minute warning. Essentially, it will tell you uh, 15 minutes, server is going down. Yeah, but I need Then it's five... every three minutes. And but then... I need five minutes to rant about that. So, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, actually, then, um, well, we, we, we made it. So, it was no problem. So, but it was like minutes um, before the time ran out. And I... <laughs> Was really crank. Uh, would have been really cranky if we didn't get that one. Here's a nice one with an Escanjan saddle. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, gigas are easy to get here because, um, well, we are in Giga country. I, I think there are not so many places on Ragnarok where gigas spawn, right? So there's this one. No, I think it's only in um, it's called Scotland, is it? I think they release them somewhere else as well. If I remember correctly, like yes. the mountains uh, between those snowy peaks, I believe they're supposed to be there now as well, but they're very limited. Yeah, it's, um, well, here you have gigas like um, spawning almost daily, but um, um, there, there's supposed to be um, another spawn point at the green arc. So for the giga hunters, um, well, you, you almost always find them here. Um, and um, if they are too low level, obviously we drown them. And if they are, if they are cowards, you need to kill them with your own giga. That's how you do it. Oh no! Why would I hurt the babies? <laughs> <laughs> no, um, we we use the gigas to uh, actually kill the wyverns when we get wyvern eggs. So ah, oh, fair enough. So we um, put like all these five gigas out there, and then fly through and the wild ones come and then the gigas um, eat them. But we, we actually lost two to low level um, doing that. So wild ones are crafty too. Um, I think Did we you have... drown poor little dinosaurs. Yeah, it's the easiest way to kill a, um, a giganoto. So, I mean, they're awfully, awfully strong, the wild ones, um, and can take hours and lots of ammo if you really kill them or lots of your own dinos if you try to kill them. But drowning them, they are kind of stupid because they do not have much stamina. So once they stop moving, you know... Well, have yeah. you tried to swim with such little tiny arms? I mean, honestly, come on. You... I, I know someone who will be dropped later on in Giga Country. <laughs> <laughs> Was that my cue for, for dropping a giga down your base? No! <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I just need a puddle to be safe, so... <laughs> Why am I cold? Oh, because it starts raining. Okay. Yeah, yeah the That's... only problem is when you're on the ocean, those big fish is going to come and take you. 
the hate rafts, aren't they? The leads, what they're called. Yeah, that's actually a question. Um, um... So what's your what's your personal favorite dino? I mean, I don't don't say the the pink tapajara, but um, <laughs> <laughs> we, you you must show the people the pink tapajara later. But um, uh, so what's what's your favorite dino of all time? So where you said, hey, yeah, uh, that's I, I'm I'm still I'm still happy they added this one to the game. Hmm. I don't know. I think I've put most effort into my Gigas, to be honest, because I have an arsenal now of very good Gigas. So, personal favourite is probably the Giga, but I also have a lot of Quetzals. Oh, back when they were useful. <laughs> Not so much now. Now they're pretty much starring away in my base. Yeah, no, the Mossa as well. Mossa is definitely my favorite uh, water animal. The Mossa, yeah, yeah. Mossa is always nice, but that's true. Yeah. So, for people who don't know what mosses are, um, just just explain what mosses are. <laughs> um, a reverse Nessie, little fat stumpy head, flippers, and a long tail. That's pretty much it. <laughs> <laughs> They're practically the gigas of the of the ocean, so <laughs> Yeah, they are. And you don't wanna mess with the alphas. The alphas are horrible. <laughs> oh yeah. Not even our super whale would go against one of those. <laughs> <laughs> super whale. I think the yeah. highest level ones I killed was about sixty five and that nearly killed my uh, best muscle. It was not a fun fight. Because <laughs> they're very fast as well. You can't even like run away from them, and if you go into shallow water, they will follow you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm not afraid enough to go into the water and arc. Yeah, they are nasty, but I um actually yeah that's um, that was another question. Um, so um, which dino do you do you hate the most? Jellyfish. No jellyfish. doubt, jellyfish. <laughs> jellyfish? Ah. Well, they, they're not that bad now because they got nerfed. But when they first released them, essentially they would kick you off any, any dino. They would completely stun you for like two or three seconds. So it didn't matter if you were on a muscle. If they touched you, you would get kicked off your muscle. Your muscle couldn't do anything. And you would just have to sit there and watch them kill your muscle right before your eyes because you can't touch them yourself because they electrocute you and kill you. The only thing you could ride around at that time was the whales because the uh, whales were the only dino who were immune. So they wouldn't get stunned and they wouldn't get um, you wouldn't get uh, thrown off your dino. So everyone was just swimming along on some random dino with a whale following them because then they could just jump off the main dino and on the whale to kill the jellyfish they came too close. They're surprisingly fast as well. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've died to them many times too. So. Fast <laughs> jellyfish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are nasty. Really nasty. Yeah, jellyfish and the uh, eels has the same ability as well. As well. Uh, but they're even faster. But they're more rare and you can easily see them as well. Well, that's then... one problem you don't have when you ride a whale because you're immune to them. As long as you're on the whale, so that's. Um... I believe they just slow you now, though. They don't yeah. kick you off anymore, which is really good. But I haven't been in the ocean for a long time because that there. Yeah. yeah. Fish and eels. It's just. I, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's it's pretty easy for me to say which dino I hate the most and should <laughs> never have been added, and that's the giant fish that eats the boats because I'm. Oh. I'm pretty much an arc sailor, so if I have the choice, or um, well, in the past I had the choice, I just built a, a nice house base boat, and um, yeah, go put seven dinos on it and be wherever I wanted to be, and that was um, the coolest time I personally had in arc, I must say. So I like to build when I can build cool stuff like the temple up there. So when I have some time and. Um, and can put some thought into it, but um, I, I really hate it that there's um, so few, you know, um, viable options um, that you have to, um, as to how to 
how to live your life in Ark more or less. So it would be cool oh, if you, you could have just plenty of options. Yeah, but I mean, like you all... can live in a Bronto or a Titan. Yeah, which will be eaten. So. <laughs> <laughs> nah, just place it somewhere safe and leave it in neutral. Brontos are usually all right on their own. I mean, Bronto... the ones I've had. Uh, uh, our Bronto was eaten by a pig's stomach, so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, sounds about right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was killed by a pig of stomachs um, because some idiot um, used just um, the sneak signal to put everyone on passive and forgot that that guy was standing outside because we have no room currently in this space until I, um, well, finish the outer walls and um, scrap all this and then um, build a nice living place here in the middle. Do you want to uh, use the opportunity to name shame the person who was responsible for that? I don't know. It could well have been me. <laughs> so I, I really don't know. It could could have been myself. So I I, I think I know who did it, but well. <laughs> <laughs> but it happened to me um, once also, but with a giga, which was um, even more. Painful. Well, at least on the old server it was here. Well, Giga's plenty. <laughs> Bronto is not so much. Well, not a high level one because I want to new, uh, build a new Bronto bar because every server needs a Bronto bar. Let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, I love the Bronto bar. There was need in the one podcast where we were just traveling around and visiting the landscape. Yeah, it's actually something you could do once it's day again, because um, it, it'll look shitty if we put Gamma, gamma on. <laughs> but we we have a Griffin, and um, we're seeing your, um, your broadcast, so you could probably um, put Valk on there, and um, she could show you some nice places here, because the map is really nice. I'm just showing off your, your temple. Very yeah, that's good. really nice, I'll, too. Um, I'm going to nip to the center and get my disco. Disco Tapajara. <laughs> the Disco Tapajara, yes, we need the Disco Oh, yeah, and that's a two rider, too, right? So it's a two person saddle. Uh, it's a three person. A three. So you can come, too. Yay, that sounds nice. Okay. Sounds like you did it on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that I um, actually, I thought the. Um, what are the fast ones called again? Galilimus. I thought um, they were the only ones um, with three riders. And they look weird when you put three people on there. <laughs> yeah, they have very low weight as well, the uh, galleys. So it's not very easy to um, actually do anything useful to the three. All right, all right. So may may I nick a question from the chat? I sure. read it before, but <laughs> but we were just ignoring it. <laughs> so uh, Melko the first was asking, how do you finance the cluster? Uh, the majority of it I've been paying myself, but lately a lot of people have been making donations, so. Partially paid by us and then partially paid by donations as well. So people have been amazing helping us out paying for it lately, which uh, we really appreciate. So I'm just so um, people get an idea what what it costs to have a cluster like that running. So um, will you divulge how much you pay for it? Well, we have six servers on the server we have now, but the way we've set it up is actually the cheapest option if you're after a cluster for yourself because the server as it runs now we're barely scratching 50 percent capacity and that's with four active servers now if you were to lease those four servers in a cluster from say host havoc or gtx gaming or whatever you're talking about eh, the cheapest you get will probably be about 10 people per server, so maybe 15 to 25 quid, depending on how good the server is. Well, you're looking at maybe 80 quid easily if you lease it through a, uh, through a host like that, 
but we pay 60 quid a month and then we have unlimited essentially as far as the server can bear and handle so it's definitely worth setting your own server cluster up it's more stable you have more control but it's also very scary because if you mess things up you mess things up there's no customer service to go running to when you mess things up <laughs> so it's a double edged sword but i would definitely recommend doing it the way we've done get someone who has done it before to help you set it up and just run with it and you had some kind um you had some kind of of link um like a paypal account you want people to pay to if they want to do, donate so we can um We'll definitely put that in the chat also so yeah. that people know where their money should go if they, well, enjoy your server. It's open and there's no password, so it's open for everyone as far as I know. Mm -hmm. That's correct. Yeah. So also what, what I've been noticing, you're doing some voting and I still don't know how that works. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so actually we're working on a bit of a voting system. So we're going to put up a reward system similar to the one we have for our donators. Because if you donate, you get certain perks and well, certain services, if you want to call it like that. Not anything dirty where anyone says anything. But <laughs> essentially, if you pay over a certain amount, you, well, donate over a certain amount, you will get the tiny recolor. And if you have an egg yourself, you want to hatch, we also offer that we insta adults the diner for you with a hundred percent imprint that's what we offer the donators now and the idea is that you get a certain amount of points for every vote you do for the servers on the arc server dot net as it called because you can list your servers there if you vote for them they will come higher up on the page and it's a good way to get more people coming in so we're going to set up a point system where Certain um, certain service will cost so many points. So if you vote every day or whenever you feel like it, you will accumulate these points, and eventually you can turn them into services which you can make use of, like diner and printing. We haven't really completed that yet because it's just been so much to work on after all the stress with all these updates and everything that has been going on. So it is a work in progress. But the idea is we want to reward the people that help us uh, have the server seen by more people and help us get more people to our cluster. So it's a bit like you help us, we help you, and we really appreciate it when people help us get uh, get the servers known. Yeah, and the rewards, I mean, um, they, are, they are not truly um, like outlandish or whatever. So No, I mean... it's not going to be like, I win. Yeah. You yeah, get a giga points. for free. Just... <laughs> and you get oh, you... a giga. And you get a giga. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing like that. Uh, I, I mean, if people know what they are doing, it's really not so hard to get a giga. It's it's very hard to get a Moser, I find. Well, well, but... oh, well, it depends. If you have a squid, it's actually quite easy now. If you have I... someone on the squid and they grab the Moser and you can just shoot the Moser in the face, so it goes down. Yeah, but down, first you, have the, you need the squid. And to get the squid is also not. Um, Actually, what I'd call easy peasy. <laughs> no, it's not easy at all. <laughs> I mean, I you think... either need a shit ton of, of um, turtles. And, no, or, you don't. Or, or you already have a Mosa, but you must put something in its um, tentacles. The Kraken. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really hard. I, the first one I tried to tame was a 125. That one wasn't hard, to be honest. But the second one was like 140. It was really bad. I think I lost about 600 black pearls attempting to uh, to tame it. And every time I went through the tentacles to feed it, it smacked me. So I died and my mosa was down there, my whale was down there. Eventually I had like five sea animals. And when I came back the one last time, they were like, I'm gonna get this. That's it. it was just vanished, it was gone. And I was so mad. <laughs> In Valk's defense, I remember um, when she tamed one of her first Moses on um, 115, the official server we were on together. And 
Um, I, I think um, during that time she must have lost like um, six pounds in sweat and fear. <laughs> <laughs> but when it was finished, we all lost the same amount because um, she, she showed it to everyone. <laughs> 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 have you seen my Moser? <laughs> no, it was fun. Um, it was also one of the first Mosers um, that, that were actually tamed um, there. And so everyone actually wanted to see the beast. Yeah, yeah, we actually got the um, server for Quetzal as well. Do you remember? On the yeah. release day of the Quetzals, well, someone found a 120 and no one had the eggs, apart from us. <laughs> so we were flying after this Quetzal, shooting it, like me and my tribe mate at the time. He, well, I was flying and he was uh, shooting and he kept shooting a pterodon. So here we are. Pterodon asleep on the ground because he shot it too many times and people were like, oh my god, we've got to help and they all flew into the Quetzal and held it in place and we were just standing on the ground shooting it and then it <laughs> went down and you just saw everyone diving down. Look for dinos, clear everything! <laughs> it was insane. It was a really good time, stuff. We had yeah, some really good times in 115. Really did. It was really nice people there in general. We had the dogs horrible one but you know as you yeah, no, there were some horrible ones but well some of them we just um, pushed away but um yeah yeah you, you pushed away let's call it that <laughs> <laughs> um anyway um you're not missing out on anything on on the official servers now at the moment because um <laughs> As far as I know, for the legacy servers, um, no new people can actually join, but there, are, um, but but there are a shit ton of um, of assholes, <laughs> and um, still there are tons of nice people there um, still too. So many people I I actually do miss. Oh no, the disco beast! <laughs> um, the disco beast, and I'm up in the air. Wait. So a lot of people I still do miss, but. Um, but um, the, the bad people really outweighed it in the end. So, so, so many noobs that were so jealous. So I usually don't even use the word noobs because I find it shitty. But, um, but well, uh, it was a horrible time in the end. I hope we don't have someone suffering from epilepsy in our audience. But <laughs> <laughs> oh, we cannot even write that one, right? We are not part of your clan. <sighs> <gasps> Hang on, let me fix. No, it turns around see. and eats us all. Okay, show the people something nice. But don't drag any gigas here. We're <laughs> 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 not finished with the outer walls. <laughs> Though, um, to all the people who are scared of gigas, there's two ways to actually um, to actually keep them at bay. And one is, um, well, if you're building outside, that is. Um, one is you can, of course, build metal walls. And the other um, option is uh, you build, like, um, wall bubbles. So what they cannot see, they, cannot, um, they will not attack unless someone drags them there. And then he must be nifty enough to take a few bites. <laughs> To be honest, I haven't actually had a problem with Gigas. Titans, no. however. Oh yeah, <laughs> Titans a uh, whole different story because they also can um, kill metal. But once again, I mean, they don't do anything if if you don't attack them first or if someone tries to steer them to your base. So. Yeah, no, I used to have my base on Herbie Island, on the island. And uh, essentially all our dinos were outside there. And one morning I come on and the ground is shaking. I'm like, what's going on? <laughs> Check tribe log. Everything has died. There's literally three dinos alive that's outside. And there's a titan just walking on the roof of my base. And I'm like, <laughs> oh, you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I almost rage quit. Almost. Well, I didn't. Understandable. Yeah, I lost so many Rexes because we um we were breeding our Rexes at the time and we had almost gotten them to like level three hundred. 
And I'm like, okay, well, at least we have the originals back the way on the center. <laughs> so we had to start all over again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was great. Dreams crushed by a time. Um, Holy shit. Kitty it's... cats here a lot. I just wanted to oh. tell you. So. Sorry, I did not see him. Wow. No, you don't see them here, usually. I, I thought he would kick me off, to be honest. They usually do. No, and then he he took trucker, right? No, I'm I'm still fine. Yeah, I fly a little higher. There are lots of them here, lots. I mean, I'm I'm kind of happy that I'm just looking to the rear and not to the front, but <laughs> that was kind of scary. Yeah. And they... I fly out of the trees like little cannonballs. They are really nasty. But if you tame one, they are excellent. I li I oh, like like them a lot. I love them. <laughs> Because they can climb walls, they can climb anything. They are really, really nice. Yeah, these guys are really nifty as well, though. Yep. Very cute. Disco <laughs> <laughs> bird. Two of viewers, if you have motion sickness, perhaps now is the moment. <laughs> the world is upside down. Yeah, it's really cool, because if you're taming something, you can just go, because when you grab onto things like this, you can actually take your rifle out. <laughs> so, you can, if you get it right, you can actually be shooting from uh, the driver's seat while you're doing that. So It's a really clever thing, really. I really enjoyed the top of the It was my favorite before the, um, the infamous flyer nerf. <sighs> now not so much. <laughs> Just too slow. Yeah, the lions I instantly fell in love with when um, the first one tried to eat me and I managed to tame him. <laughs> 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 I had a little, uh, well, little, I had a eight platform tree house built and, um, but these beasts would still spawn inside the house. So <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, it was. You're trying to eat me? I'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get my rifle, you ass. <laughs> yeah, there was a bug. Well, they were very buggy when they first came out. And like an idiot, I went through the redwoods with my favorite pretzel. It's red. So pretty. And one of them jumped me and, of course, grabbed me. And then my pretzel just bugged out. She stood still in the air. By the time I had to look back in, it was underneath the water and it was drowning and oh. I couldn't get it loose and it just drowned and it died. And a piece of me died as well. So I really <laughs> love that quetzal. <laughs> oh yeah. That's actually, I mean, um, they, are, they are all like, I mean, the dinos are like, like modern Tamagotchis, but uh, I must say I, I also, yeah, there were a few, a few um, I I really really miss them. <laughs> like uh, I was hunting, uh, I, I was looking for a wolf to tame when the wolves were pretty new still, and so the maximum level on official was like level 125 back then, and so I spent days in the nasty cold looking for a wolf, and every time I got one, it was killed by something, or or his pack killed me or whatever, something happened. And I was so frustrated and almost out of ammo. And so we had this little, little outpost there in the north. And I walked back to the door to get to my flyer. And I thought, you have enough of wolves, fuck the wolves. <laughs> and, then, and then I just opened the door. And what happened? A wolf bit me into the ass. <laughs> and I turned around. And she was alone. She was 125 wolf. And I just lured her inside, closed the door, and then went up to the roof and uh, got her. And that was, um, yeah, that's why she was later called Aya Doorstep. <laughs> and she was the coolest wolf ever <laughs> for me. And so, yeah, many, many dinos actually um, have a little story. And um, you, you, won't forget them easily. Let's say it that that way. Yeah, it's it's uh it's a bit weird to say that you get attached to them, but you you kind of do. Some of them are just special. 
I'm gonna stay clear of the snow because I think the two of you would freeze pretty fast. But there's a hungry cat behind us. <laughs> oh, hello. He was just running. Hey, wait. I want to eat you. I'll pick one of those up later and um, put them in our taming pen. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, I, I love those cats. So I, I was just looking for a high level one. And the last high level one I met actually tried to kill me, pushed me underwater. I had to kill it with the eggs. And then I had no stamina left and drowned like the cats are. <laughs> that was. Yeah. Also, one of these. Um, arc, arc can be a, such a. So, so sometimes for days nothing happens, and then sometimes you're really close to heart attack. <laughs> That's one of the things I love about this game, except also it's beautiful and it has dinos, so <laughs> what's not to like? Um, so, how many players um, do you have all together on the clusters in, well, approximately? Um, what did I say before? What's yeah, I, I asked the question why you were gone. Oh, okay. So, uh, <laughs> just, just, just tell me again. I, I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> About 15 that are on daily, which are very active, but probably around 30, which are on throughout the week that are less active, but are still very much regulars. So, so now I'm most... Sorry, go ahead. No, go on. Um, so most of these, um, I don't know, did, did most of them start on the island? And so would you say island is still the number one map where everyone has a base and stuff like that? Oh, I think Ragnarok has taken over now. Like w when we first started Ragnarok, it was still like not an official thing. They had just released it. We started because when we got this cluster, we said, okay. The center at the time wasn't doing very well. So we were like, well, we get the volcano up, and there was one clan playing on it, that's it. <laughs> there was no interest. So we took the volcano down and we put the Drangnarok instead. And people pretty much fell in love with it straight away. It's a really beautiful map. I mean, I watched the devs like on the streams and when they've been working on it, the amount of detail and thought they put into the map when they're creating it, it's, it's really, really nice. They're really good at what they do. And I used to play on Valhalla as well. Uh, the first server had actually Valhalla to begin with before we uh, went over to the center and became like an official, unofficial. It was just a playground for me to begin with, to be honest. And for the few close friends that I invited to play. So, no, I think it turned out great now. It's a really lovely map, and I love the whole Norse theme for them, as you do. <laughs> well, yeah. Hala has a lot of that as well. Which is I've, really lovely. I've also seen a lot of old faces here, so many people that I knew from um, 115. Um, mm -hmm. uh, actually now here on the cluster, so and that was a fun side effect. Um, so when I went into your Discord and um, looked at the names list, oh, well, you know, this guy and this guy, and of course this guy, <laughs> and wow, he still exists. <laughs> it was uh, kind of a reunion, so uh, really fun. Yeah, uh, it has been really nice. And I'm uh, glad that a lot of them are around still, because... Like Liz Anamander, he used to build these absolutely amazing buildings. He had this amazing tower that he had on 115. And he's kind of kept that going. Like the tower he built on the center before we had a corrupted uh, save file and we discontinued the center the first time around. It was absolutely amazing. I mean, the guy should should be an architect or something. He's so good at building. It's just a massive metal black tower hovering uh, above the jungle. It was marvelous to look at. I can actually try to find some photos for you later. But it's really cool because people like that kind of give the server something extra. 
because you have these people who build purely for aesthetics and you have other people who build purely for you know playing the game and being practical i try to be somewhere in the middle like i want it to be pretty but i don't want to be pissed off when i play so i want it a bit practical as well so Mm, I usually go for practical first, and then and then I build the um, aesthetic. So, for example, what I plan here, you can see it wonderfully from here. So later on, um, where you see the um, the cliff, I want to build something like the um, alfalfa in, in Lisbon, and that probably looks pretty cool then afterwards. But um, first, well, it must be secure. I mean, I, I think it's pretty secure anyways, but um, it will stop certain people. Oh, no, don't you fear gigas? No. <laughs> <laughs> Giga country. Yeah, actually, um, direction we are flying right now, it's um, a bit more to the right. That's where they spawn. And also um, the wyvern... Uh, the wyverns um, and their lava pits are close too. So, but you can also um, you can you can mostly already see when there is a giga running around because then everything else is dead <laughs> very quickly. Yeah, they do stand out quite a lot. Yeah, so can well Espe I guess especially if the pink. Seeing as someone managed to uh, get a magenta. Oh, speak of the devil. There we, we have one. Yeah. Let's see, Trucker, you're facing backwards, aren't yeah. you? So I'll try to get this in such a way oh, that yeah. you're able. I've it might it. be. It might be better if you use K, so you can freely look around as we fly. Not working. <laughs> oh, it's not working. Oh, maybe the two of you should uh, swap seats then. That would be easy, yeah. I was thinking the same, <laughs> but in mid-air that wouldn't work, so... And it was a nice view anyway. Yay, the real oh, yeah, Giga. Oh, he saw us. <laughs> <laughs> and it's hungry. <laughs> Yeah. Nope. <laughs> this is why the petrifying look at that face. <laughs> Get down here. I want to eat you. <laughs> I actually like the colors on that one. Spread belly. Oh, it's level 85. Yeah. I could probably one or two shot my bird. <laughs> See what he does to that uh, Bronto. Why not? Maybe he no. wants chicken for dinner. He wants disco chicken. <laughs> yeah, he's not touching my chicken. <laughs> well, I said usually we would. Well, 85 isn't well high enough, so we would drown it now. So, at least when it comes too close. So. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing that I absolutely love about this map, by the way, I don't know, you've probably noticed it yourself, but there's so many good cave spots. For, yeah, um, we've we've for... actually uh, built in one or two of them. We yeah. built in <laughs> there's one yesterday. tree right here underneath this waterfall. It's like a lovely little cave. It's not that big, but it's really nice. Very cozy. This is such a good starter place because because of all the gigas in here as well. <laughs> if you want to build a space, a base here in uh, Scotland, and you want to be giga safe, this cave here is your best shot. Unless you build on one of the mountains and you fortify it to the teeth with metal. Yeah, I mean, all you need is um, for a base like this. All you need is like one um, behemoth gate, and yeah, that's mm -hmm. all. And that's exactly. That's really quick, um, pretty quick to do. So there are a number of caves in um, in the region here, but we already had a cave and we wanted a harbor. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I really love the caves because you get a natural flow to your building in there, so you don't just build the cubicles. 
Indeed. My favourite spot on the island was on top of these bluffs. It was a bit, was maybe a bit in the middle, but a bit to the north of the middle. There's two, you know, if you follow the river up on the island, there's a spot where there are two bluffs right next to each other. One is very high with a lot of metal on it. There was a smaller one just right across the waterfall. So my favorite, that was my favorite spot. And I would always make my base on top of that little bluff with a bridge going, spanning across the, um, across the river. And uh, it would uh, come right down next to the waterfall. And that was like my favorite spot ever because you were safe from everything that wanted to get you. But it was also, if you built it very smart, you could fit so much stuff on it as well, which was really cool. You do, at least for the island, there's a lot of memories, a lot of buildings and stuff you have done there in the past. And it's a really lovely map, but Ragnarok is so much more than that, to be honest with you. Just a bit of detail that fits into this map is just astounding. It's so good. I don't think Ra is very good at honest questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi Ra. <laughs> oh, should I say Ra too? What is he asking? If it's anything mm. offensive, tell him he's banned. <laughs> <laughs> he can hear you. You know he's banned. <laughs> uh, no, it's, true. it's not as offensive. It's as usual. I don't make sense. <laughs> no, um, I didn't even get the question. <laughs> so yeah but, um, maybe he's asking for a special halloween event or he wants a potato i'm not that sure <laughs> well there will be a very special halloween event there will but i mean we will have some increased rates but well we're gonna have a photo competition as well and with photo competition i mean it's gonna be kind of scary Halloween haunted house thing. Every person gets to deposit three pictures max. And ha make it Halloween themed, use skins, use whatever you want, make it nice and scary. And I will post more information about it at, uh, well, a bit closer to the event. I guess it will be released in a week or so. If wildcard on, you know, Releasing it in November or something, knowing how delayed they usually are. <laughs> <laughs> so there will be a special rewards for that, obviously. So um, yeah, we will get a special event. Obviously, there will be breeding, taming, as per usual, and something extra as well. So we'll see. I hope that people will um, enjoy the Halloween event, and I know I love it. This is always very nice and scary when the dodo vex comes. Or should I say dodo wyvern? I don't know what's going to be on here. Dodo wyvern doesn't sound too nice. Dodo no, it's wyvern. not nice at all. It's not nice at all. It looks absolutely disgusting, but <laughs> it is a thing. <laughs> what about the dodo giga? That would be amazing. I wonder if Ra's drunk. <laughs> Pretty sure he is. Mercedes Bang thank you. For <laughs> thank you for reading my comment, good sir BMW. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but if if any of our viewers has a question, go ahead. And even if you formulate them in gibberish, we try to make sense and ask it anyway, so. Let me see if we still had any questions, so I don't know what we were talking about while I was away, but. Um... Basically, I, w I was asking how many players there are and if she played on other unofficials before. Oh, that's an interesting one. You're, you're still a vegetarian, right? Uh, vegan, but yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so you, you make exceptions now, or what? <laughs> no, it's just pixels. <laughs> <laughs> you know, dinosaur got eat and all that. 
So that's um, something I read a while ago. Um, there was one person who um, said he liked Ark and uh, la la la, but he's a vegan and he doesn't like all the meat eating and the dinos could be fed with berries, all of them and stuff like that. And um, I found that really ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, he can eat yeah. berries. You can eat berries, but it's one of them. <laughs> it's what kind of level people take it to. I mean, it's pixel. You're not harming anyone. It's it is what it is. It's just a game. Yeah. I t I take it just as that. It's just a game, and I enjoy it, and I have fun. So, you know. I think that's the smartest not way very, to see it, anyway. I mean, it's not very humane. I mean, we are literally knocking dinos unconscious and forcing them to love us. So the whole we, game we... from that perspective is very violent and love horrible. Love you, punch. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget we drugged them first. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, this is another gorgeous base location, by the way. I was going to make a base here, and then I changed my mind because resources, and it's a bit far away from stuff. But... I had a base on here, big building, and check that view. I was this about view to say, that's is beautiful. so amazing, right over the waterfall here. And it has a special feature, because underneath the waterfall is a special little cave. It's really cool. Oh, Luck I is going that's my into... Like it's going into Bob Ross mode right now. Yeah. <laughs> Bob Ross mode. Yeah, these are my foundations. Remind me, I need to remove these. <laughs> <laughs> it's my base now. Delete. You do know um, Bob Ross, right? So. Yeah, I do know Bob Ross. Mr. Raffro. Happy yeah. little trees, happy little waterfall. <laughs> <laughs> That's a happy little cave right here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you can store your dinos. And you can uh, take them out here because there's actually a path which leads down here as well. So it's uh, it can be a really cool base if you want to build under here or up there, whatever. I mean, on on Rock and Rock, actually, I, I think you can throw a stone and you find a good place to build a base because everything here is is beautiful in one way or mm -hmm. another. The whole map is um, aesthetic in 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 their prime it's, it's yeah. really so so beautiful everything they make and then the little um buildings that are on the map from the beginning like the mm -hmm. like the castle or the lighthouse or all that stuff that's really cool and that's that's actually a way you can play like a nomad or a cowboy um because you can use the buildings that are already there so mm -hmm. and you can use the caves and well you, you still need a little bit of luck but usually you're safe so could just grab a horse and a raptor and go yeah just every region of other just has its own charm like this one up here yeah this area is absolutely gorgeous i'm not sure where this is supposed to be from like because they've um they ask on discord like for people and their uh opinions of what kind of areas they should be adding to the maps well, this area here is absolutely amazing. Like that view. Yeah, of the maps um, I've seen so far, um, I tried Valhalla also. Um, but uh, Ragnarok beats them all. It's, it's really, really beautiful map. So please yeah. don't come here because we need all the space for our bases. <laughs> <laughs> Build somewhere else. Now, that's the beauty of it, though. I mean, it's, what is it, like three, four times the size of the island? Like, on the island, you had five, maybe six really good spots. And the rest were like, well, I can build here, and it's going to be okay. But, like you say, you can just throw a rock, and you're going to be at another base location, which is just amazing. And up here, this is Anamander, again, with his little modern builds. Look at that. How cool is that? <laughs> he really loves his little modern buildings. Really cool. 
This one actually looks a lot like the one he had on Valhalla. Only that one was uh, two or three stores high, I think it was. So he's just building some progress one. Maybe he'll add the next stores. Hmm. Don't like? quite, I don't quite remember whose base it was. It was either Anomandus or um, the base of uh, Alex, the, the Russian guy. But um, when when um, I think it was Alexander's, and he had to build a really cool base too. When oh yeah, Alex. When when that base got plundered, I could have cried. <laughs> oh, yeah, it was very sad. I've been trying to uh, get him to play again. He's like, I want to do some. Yeah, well, <laughs> Ark, you make time for Ark. <laughs> But yeah, no, he was really good. Yeah, yeah we st still talk from time to time. He is a nice guy, really nice guy. Yeah, yes, he definitely had some interesting discussions with people. Ruffle a bit of feathers here and there, as you do, but... <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't? <laughs> yeah, exactly. And that's what I really like with games like these. Like you get a lot of uh, good communities. Okay. Uh, the people that don't fit in per se, you find you you will find that they usually just move on. But the people that get along well, they usually stay together and play together and stuff like that. And I think you can see that quite a lot there because of all the people from One Fifteen. That has come, and you know, it's just a very friendly atmosphere. Everyone's well, reasonably happy, I would hope. <laughs> <laughs> Can't complain, no, no. And it's also good. Um, I mean, uh, basically, on an official server, if something if something goes goes wrong, you're fucked. Yeah. So, if you lose your dinos because I don't know they made a mistake uh, with the calendar, which happened to us, so. Um, the seven days time frame was uh, over one and a half day early, and uh, all our dinos were gone, of course. Because, um, well, yeah. can't expect um, random guys to just <laughs> note it's a bug and um, perhaps not touch the dinos. Um, but here, well, I mean, you have admins you can talk to, and that's um, way better because. Uh, Complaints with uh, Wildcard, it's impossible. They're nice people, actually, in, in their support, but um, but they'll do nothing for you. <laughs> <laughs> Did we just manage to find the one and only waterfall that doesn't have a cave behind it? <laughs> yeah, indeed. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but, but we have the Rockies. That's yeah. And the Grand Canyon. It's a beautiful and Ra landscape. And Ra wants us to visit his base at 2020. Oh, I know where his base is. That's fine. I'll take you to Ross' base. Yamaya got, uh, I think it's called Pirate's Cove. It's like an underwater massive cavern, which has its own little um, water bay as well. Just a bit nice. Well, you might freeze to death by the time I get through here, but I'll do my best. <laughs> this guy's hauling ass then. I'll just put my clothes back on. Don't tell me you were naked all the time. <laughs> and I'm sitting with my back to you. <laughs> Not all the time. But maybe the last 10 minutes or so. Oh, talking <sighs> about official uh, servers. Stuff going wrong with dinos. Do you remember was a dino riders that were called? An absolutely humongous tribe with uh, Germans. Um, it huge... was like a coup d'etat or something that happened with them. They pissed off that other German tribe, and then one of the friends of that tribe joined a server, joined Dino Riders, and like a week or so later, that person unclaimed all the Dino Riders dinos. So the tribe pissed oh, yeah. off. 
I remember that. They're dinos of them. Like, it's stuff like that that really bothers me about the official servers. Because had that happened on here, I mean, first and foremost, I would have taken the dinos back. Then whatever was left of the dinos, of the remaining stuff, I would have dropped the giga on it. <laughs> Maybe two gigas for good measures, and then I would have banned the person. Because, obviously, that shit is unacceptable. Yeah, agreed. Yeah, I mean, it's it really doesn't fit a game like Ark. I mean, it, it fits in EVE Online. <laughs> it doesn't fit here. Yeah. But we filed so many complaints, they didn't do anything, and they swapped servers after that. I believe they went on unofficial servers after that happened. But, uh, at the time, this was before uh, they implemented the AI That's... of Dinos, you know, do you know how they used to be, where they would focus on you, and they would stay focused, they wouldn't run away like they do now? Because back then, after that... Oh, Meg is asking a good question. So is Ark actually a survival game, or is it just about dinos? <coughs> um, it's very much a survival game. Well, you, you can make it what you want. I mean, you can make everything without any dinos. Dinos are essentially a luxury which makes everything a bit easier. But you can definitely play the game without dinos at all. I was level 45 or 50 when I tamed my first dino on an, on an official server. I did everything manually with tools. And uh, it, it was a very good challenge because when you get your first dino it's like Oh my god, this is so easy. Why haven't I done this before? <laughs> but <laughs> it was really sad. I, I was so happy. I tamed a Theomia and two Parasaurs. And I made this lovely little base. And we had like three high thatch walls. I was like, oh yeah, everything's going to be safe. I log <laughs> on. And of course, my base was right next to a river. And there was a Spino right next to my base. <laughs> And the spino just runs into my base, kills all my dinos, destroys my entire base, and I was like, yeah, okay, so this is not how you play the game. Get away from the rivers, bad things lives there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very steep learning curve when you play art. It definitely is, because there's so many things now that can kill you. If you go into the swamp, there are leeches. If you're very unlucky, you're going to get an infected leech, and then which case you need to make this uh, this uh, antivenom or whatever to cure the disease. The which you can you. only build much, much later if you just started. So that... Yeah, but that's something we don't have here. We don't have like um, those diseases that will stay no matter what. Like they, if you die, the disease will die because we don't want people to have everything wrecked. Because they got the, that one disease, so. And this is Bartu's base. Bartu and Maya. It's like entering the bat cave, I feel. <laughs> yeah, I was just going to say. <laughs> the bat cave. Damn, they've been busy, haven't they? Oh, it's a shame they don't have the magenta. Which giga here? Those things. Ridiculous. <laughs> so, sh which dino should I kill? <laughs> I don't know. Not hungry yet. Um... We let the chat decide. <laughs> let the chat the decide. big one. Take the big one. <laughs> kill one for our enjoyment. <laughs> no, but yeah. I, I'd also say it's um, pretty much a survival game. And yeah. you can play it in, in many different styles. Um, so some are more safe than others, but um, you can play it as a pure survival game. And actually, they now have a game mode where you cannot tame any dinos. Mm -hmm. So they have a few servers where you cannot tame a dino. So it's just you and your trusty pickaxe and eggs and unfortunately no knives, but swords. <laughs> and they've got the, the um, medieval Stone Age setting if you want to, so there's no future tech. Oh, yeah, primitive. Plus yeah, I can well. that. Yeah. exactly. Yeah, I've been thinking about that, uh, adding like a primitive plus server into the cluster. Oh, I definitely. It, it would add variety, wouldn't it? 
I the one with the disco go there. lights. <laughs> I played on, oh, yeah. a, on a role-playing server, and they had um, like only two tribes, and they were not allowed to. Well, one tribe was only allowed to speak German, and the other tribe was only allowed to speak of all things Norwegian. Mm -hmm. And ah. yeah, yeah, I actually asked you if you wanted to join um, when I did that project because it was a limited time project, and uh, so what they did was they let the tribe start on um, different ends of the island map and it was primitive and they had to um, each week they had to um, elect their chieftain and the chieftain would say well you are a hunter this week you are a builder this week and so on and of course the real fun was um, the tribes didn't know that there was another tribe and so um, um, so when they met that was that was really really interesting I was there and um, they were like, um, well, they were only allowed to speak in their native language, so they basically tried to speak with feet and hands, which they couldn't use with the avatars, but it was very interesting. <laughs> Waves his that hand around. That fun and infuriating at the same time. <laughs> yeah, and then the um, admins, um, and so I was helping the admins. I wasn't actually a player. I was just watching the um, German folks and see what they did, and so... And they could trigger certain events at certain times. So um, they then killed one of uh, one guy in one tribe, and so everyone expected. Um, well, now there will be a, a big, a huge war or something. But no, they made a real interesting um, detective story out of that. So who who killed him? Must have been a dino. These other guys wouldn't do that. They are nice. We know them. <laughs> 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 you could do whatever you wanted. So no, no war. I was so happy for the first time in a long time in, in gaming that um, there was like a peaceful solution <laughs> and, and um, guys were playing like real humans. No, why, why should they kill him? Well, he had all this metal with him. Yeah, fuck, they can get their own metal. <laughs> <laughs> they live next to the claim. Why should they do it? <laughs> yeah, it was, uh... it was really, really cool role playing. And I was actually, it um, was for five weeks. And when it was over, um, everyone was sad, like, um, can't we continue? And no, the server is expensive and so on. It wasn't a social experiment, but it was a really, really cool social experiment, I must say. Sounds neat, yeah. Mako uh, wants you more. to kill the biggest and most dangerous dino you can find. Oh, we just passed the gig again. Let's see. Our chat demands else. blood. <laughs> uh, just another thing about uh, the question in regards to survival or not. If you want to be more survivally, go to like a scorched earth server. Oh it's, yeah. It's uh, a lot harder. Resources are a lot more scarce. It's harder, um, tougher just to survive the environment itself because you have um, electric storms. You have sandstorms, you have the heat waves, you have extreme weather conditions which you don't have on the other maps. I believe there will there are those things here in Ragnarok as well in the desert area. So I think in a lot of ways uh, Ragnarok is a good go to all when it comes to uh, comes to the maps because you can go to these extreme places like the snow area on here will kill you so fast. Because it's so harsh, but also the desert is pretty nasty. So I don't know. Try out Scorched Earth, and if you don't like that, try out one of the other servers because there's really so many different options you can try out. It's not just pure PVE. It's definitely yeah. a lot of survival. Because in the beginning, when you start the game. You need to figure everything out anyway, so that in itself is a pain. So it might be worth trying one of the normal servers before you go to Scorched Earth, because Scorched Earth was hard even for me after like two and a half thousand hours <laughs> of experience. Like, why am I dying now? Why am I thirsty? Why is this well dry? Why? <laughs> yeah, the first time I played um, Scorched Earth. It was like 15 minutes after the game started, and there was the first um, electrical storm. And I ran for the hills, 
but then um, it was definitely one of the most beautiful sights in, in Ark when you stand on top of a mountain and you watch the sun and the storm pass by. And that's that's really, really cool looking also. But when you are inside, you are, well, <laughs> you have other problems. Well, you can easily play um, like campfire style. So you can, well, you have, maybe have one dino that you use for riding and then um, you'll, you'll just build a campfire somewhere at night and hope for the best. And the horses so, are good for that. The horses yep. is like a smithy. No. Oh no, did you die? Yeah, he decided to eat me and not you. <laughs> oh. Hang on, spawn back in. I summon you over. Okay. Jump uh, off, it would be um... nice if you stop that because otherwise I'll die too. <laughs> <laughs> That what happens when our chat demands blood. They get mine. Thank you, chat. <laughs> I'm back. Okay, jump off, Suriel, so I can uh, finish these guys off. <laughs> you can watch from the safe distance. Ah, uh, it's no way to kill a Bronto. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? Disco bird. Disco, disco bird. bird kills everything. Go, disco bird. Ra would like to add that they are interested in breeding events. Because they had some recently and now we got the taste and want more. Mm -hmm. Well, like I said, there will be a breeding and taming event for Halloween. So there will definitely be coming some more, but also we're looking at the overall rate of the server and we might bump the standard rates a bit up, possibly not a lot, but just a bit because people are working and they want things to be a bit faster, but we, we need to balance it out. We don't want it to be too easy either. So. And that we'll was, have a look at it. That was us again because bloody Bronto got us up there. <laughs> okay, I think it's safe enough now. I'm come and get you. Bloody Bronto was knocking Wait. us down from on top of the plateau. Did you both die? Yeah. What? <laughs> you know, survival game, you're not doing it right. <laughs> you're watching you. We're doing a podcast, damn. Journalists are stupid, you know that. <laughs> we, we understood the game part, but not the surviving part. <laughs> I don't trust the beast anymore. I'll take one of my violence. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Do you want to summon as well, sir? Are you alright? Yeah, yeah. Get me, get me over there. You tried to summon Taco, but I don't know. Maybe oh, my PC has got the hiccups again. I'm not sure. No, maybe you're getting smarter. No, I won't go where she is. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want to die again. <laughs> it's nice and cozy inside the ba base. The dinosaurs want to eat me. Whoops, well, I could see you tried to summon me, oh. but I'm still here. Ah, I'm, I'm there. But now some of our dinos are flying, so perhaps don't do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm below you. I'm yeah, I'm below it as well. Flew off. It's hard to miss your dinosaur. Some books. I think your corpse is around here. In the water. It should be around here somewhere. Well, I was. I, I died in the mud, which was not a glorious death. So. I died from falling damage. That's not the best either. Ah, oh, it's because you're just a baby. Just level <laughs> yeah. seven. I had a bit of a tumble. 
<laughs> Are you sitting on something, Surreal? No, I'm... no, no. I should be there now, but now I'm... the game has frozen for me. So I see that. Oh no, now it's working. Stop! Don't leave me behind. <laughs> I just bought it as well. But now I'm freezing. Yay! <laughs> And now I'm freezing too, I have nothing on. <laughs> yeah, it's too dark to find the corpses. Nah, uh, don't worry. We can replace this shit. Yeah. Oh, I see... I think that's truck guy. Should be a... Ah, I can ah. see the green light of my body. Yeah. Wait. Stop, stop. Uh, almost next to it. I just fell off. Just water. Oh, Trucker, I, I have your body over here. Yeah, I've got two green lights. Try to figure out which one is the best. Oh, this is this one. This one has clothes on it. That looks good. Yeah. Wow, this saddle is so bright. That oh, actually really... hurts my eyes. Oh no, yeah, that should be my stuff. Yeah, got it. Let me redress. Let me get respectable. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna grab a normal saddle. Just disco bird is uh, too disco in this one. I mean, it's easy to find, so I'm glad. <laughs> It's almost pitch black for me, so the disco bird is perfect. I know where I have to go to. Ha! And back to Nanook. <laughs> oh, and Monk killed the Giga. There we go. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why don't I have my clothes on? Because you're a little nudist. Remember to pull it over from your corpse. Yeah, yeah. I was a little bit stupid. I dressed my corpse, not myself, so... Someone's taking funeral rites still very seriously here. <laughs> also, Ark is one of the few games where you can actually eat yourself. If you're Hannibal Lecter style, that's also an option. <laughs> <laughs> like you could also eat your own poop, but that isn't yeah. highly recommended. This game has a weird fascination. I will just find some nice warm place and just stay here till it's good. Day again. If no dinosaur comes around and eat my face. Yeah, you're in the swamp and there's leeches in the swamp, so I would just jump on the bird if I were you. <laughs> yeah, the problem is if I enter the water now, it gets cold again and I freeze to death, so... The game tries to tell me something. Uh, hold E and swap to the back seat, Surreal. And Disco Bird isn't glowing for me right now, so... No, I, I took the saddle off. It oh, was really yeah. hurting my that, eyes. That, that's <laughs> why I couldn't find him. <laughs> I'll like, come and pick you up as soon as Surreal has figured out how to get Little Rare baby seat? trucker is missing in the swarm. Please find him. <laughs> there, I'm right next ah, to you. Yeah, I found it and I think I'm on top of it. Yeah, I see some wings. I'm alive.
And now some leech jumps into my face. <laughs> I know a while ago. Be. I know a while ago in one of our podcasts we actually spoke about the outrage that happened when um, Ark went live and they put the price to what was it um, 60? Uh, or uh, it was actually 70 euros. 70, the right? yeah, they, they pushed it. And, and, and then they dropped it to 60. So that was quite the, the outrage. So, and I was so, I was so surprised because I thought, well, you know, anyone who loves dinos must have already bought this game for 8 euros or whatever in one of their sales. So super surprised that there so, were so many people waiting for the, well, quotation marks finished version yeah the, uh, a lot of people um burned their fingers with early access versions and they avoid them like the plague that's true yeah but i mean but, there's uh, early access there's only access yeah, I mean, yeah if you look at always the... one of the the best ways to do it if you just look at the team and um realize what they've been working on before they became a wild card. So you do have an experienced team there. And so that was when, when I bought it, it cost like um, 15 euros or so. And um, I, I don't know. I just looked at the team members and um, look, checked, did a few background checks. And I thought, well, you know, this, this game actually will be finished and it will be good. And it will be very deadly, as we can see now. <laughs> I mean, some people thought the same about uh, Peter Molyneux's games, so... <laughs> yeah. Mm. I mean, I... there's always the potential to screw up, but... I mean, in this case, there was so much positive press about ARK and so many videos and so many streams and... You couldn't miss it for some time. I mean, it was very popular on Twitch for at least one year. And so you could make up your own decision. And so it was very easy to buy during one sale if, you, if you're if really interested in the gameplay and setting. I was super surprised also. Um, uh, so, so many people who played Ark in the beginning, they, they really never stopped. So I can see yeah. them in my in my Steam friend list, and I've played hundreds of other titles in in the meantime. I mean, I always return to Ark because I love the game, but I need my breaks. And but there are people who basically play every day. It's it's really like they live in Ark. It's it's amazing. <laughs> it's been, Sorry. It's, it's been quite a while since I have last seen a game that that managed that and it's probably some MMO like Ultima Online or something. It's just a very well built game. But another thing that I absolutely love about Angler have you guys seen the uh, volcano event? Of course. The event, but I've seen the volcano. Well then, how about I start the event for us so we can have a look? Yeah, it sure. Is absolutely. Marvelous. And now we'll get and it should by be, fire. <laughs> and it should be awesome in the middle of the night. That's true. So give us some volcano spectacle. Let's, fingers crossed this actually works. I never used this command before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do hear a rumble though. First time for everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah I see a geisha. Oh, turn yeah. around. I want to see it too. <laughs> <laughs> Can't you use K? No, it doesn't work on the back seat. Say, so, I want to go closer, but if one of those rocks hits us, we are I all dead. I don't <laughs> want to be barbecue. <laughs> I'll get this up high. Good luck. I hope it loads on my end and not screws everything over after we've hyped it. <laughs> People watching this um, stream can be really happy because they can see something I can't. So. <laughs> <laughs> 
but I've seen the volcano, uh, volcano erupting before. It's it's really nice spectacle. As another good thing about Ark, it um, helps with your ego. It tells you you are hot so often. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good point. After all the blue screens we've had today, I just dipped down the graphics before we started, so I'm not 100% sure you can see everything, but you just roll with it. Otherwise, you have to join the server and ask Valk if she will trigger it again for you, so just saying. Yeah. <laughs> you probably don't want to be on the ground, though, if you do. Nope. <laughs> Crispy, crunchy humans. Oh, come on. This is taking bloody ages. <laughs> With our luck today, it wouldn't wonder me if we would get hit by a rock and die. Oh, well. It's a dramatic way to die. Yeah, sure. Doesn't happen too often, in, not even in Ark. <laughs> Death by Dino is a natural cause of death. But as long as Monk follows us, he can pick us up. <laughs> <laughs> ah, is it Monk that's following us? Yeah. Get toasted again. Ah, okay. I don't know how much closer I want to get, but... <laughs> Give a shout if you see it. Rock out. I mean, the volcano by its own is just awesome. Yeah, it really is. But it's the dynamic event that really gets me because, like, the lava starts dripping down from the top and then it just kind of goes down the size of the mountains. <laughs> like, it's just so well made. Yeah, it looks pretty amazing. So when they started that in, uh, on the island, um, they kind of um, surpassed all my expectations. So I thought, well, yeah, what would happen? So a few stones flying around or stuff like that. But it really, really looks awesome. If I see it correctly, Monk is kind of crazy and gets even closer. Oh, Monk is not crazy. Knows the game better than most. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, he definitely does. The yeah. base on 115 was the bane on my computer. <laughs> the base was so big and so many dinos. It wasn't big. So much it, lag. It, it, it was just. It was very um, compact. <laughs> it, yeah, it was very compact and hundreds and hundreds of dinos. So there was this. Um, Monk was on vacation for a while. And so. Um, on 115, we, we made a little mm, a little sport. So who manages to get from the base of Monk's um, building to the very top? And how much time does it take? And two people actually killed themselves inside because they couldn't find the way. You, you've never seen a Monk base from inside. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, he took me around on a tour a couple of times, and it was quite a maze. Oh, well, nothing's happening. Did he just dip the griffin into the lava, or was that I.I.? No, no, we would have seen that, because uh, we would have gotten a, a death Oh, no, it's just the Argent. The Argent's just... Uh... Rose, oh, check no. now. I, I wouldn't pick it up, it's too spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but, um, well, since you load your graphics settings, but um, it's also one thing, um, if you play Ark on Epic, it looks epic. It really, really has really nice um, effects for lightning and for water and for basically everything and shadows. It's a pretty amazing game, graphics-wise. Yeah, if you want to, it's one of those benchmark titles. Nah, I mean, I, I don't have a... I have a... Um, uh, uh, 970, so it's not the super newest card, obviously, and um, I can play it on my pick and there's no problems. 
and 16 gigs of RAM, so not nothing impressive. Let me push the sales, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's pretty pretty amazing, and this map is pretty amazing. So and well, if you think about Ark or getting Ark, so I'm pretty sure. Around Christmas, they'll do another sale. Mm -hmm. I'm super sure about it. I'm or pretty when... sure they'll uh, do a sale when Aberration is out as well. Yeah, yeah. Just meant to say. If it's not out already, I really oh. should check. There First we go. Uh, oh, there we go. Check the lava. Yeah, amazing. And my, char my character is really hot. <laughs> Mine as <Go> well. <laughs> I mean, on a question about that, we have these very manly beards. It's also <laughs> one of the few games I know where you have um, actual growing... hair growth. Yeah, <laughs> growing hair and beards. And when they talked about that feature when they announced it, I thought, "Oh my, I've never heard something that stupid." <laughs> and then it's real fun. There's sort of different um, styles you can learn. Women can have bears as well. <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, well, the testosterone on this island is really amazing. <laughs> and now, for pure effect, we flatten someone's base, I'm sure. <laughs> this never happened before. Screw that bitch of an admin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, I'm uh, I'm just gonna move over here. Good night, Craig. It's, uh, it's going a bit too crazy for me now. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna make a screenshot. Yeah, now you've got the best position. Absolutely. And if we flatten yeah. someone's base, I mean... First of all, sorry, and second, why are you building near a volcano? This oh, this is, is nice. dragon nest. Yeah, and actually, the cave. Um, and there's oh. a cave um, and... leading, leading from one end to the other. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, they don't like that very much if you look into the nest. Thank you, monk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I mean, we weren't invited anyway, so that's understandable. I mean, if you run into my home uninvited, I would react almost the same. Yeah. Uh, jump off, surreal. Ah. Uh. Die like a man. Okay, I'll jump off. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's part of the game, so... Spawn in, I'll summon you over first. Yeah. I'm already spawned in. Have we actually told our viewers how to get on your server? Um, no, I don't think you have. Have you um, put a link or something in the stream? And then we should definitely do it. We we have your we have the name of the server at the video title, but we could we could give them a handy step by step. Actually, if you just um, look for, um, did you did you type it? Did you type it like? Well, I can't type in the chat, unfortunately, because. Um, well, we have a main website. Oh, thank you, the center is down. Uh, if you go to, well, if you just Google Arc Nerds Evolved, we have a website called Arc Nerds Evolved .com, and you will have links there to all of our servers. Just a moment, please. I. I think Sumter is down for being in the place, so I'm just going to check on that very quickly.
Uh, you mean the home page on engine? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then I've got the right one. Then I'll post it in all our chats and we will add it in the video description so that everyone can find it. Sounds like a plan. All right. So what else? I um, posted it twice. Oh, only on Smashcast. Okay. But okay. They'll survive it. They can figure it out. They're smart people. Can I ask us? Sure. Okay. I think they must have messed with either the game or the mods. Because that's the Scorched Earth having issues earlier. And now it's after. Perhaps they were, were kind of erupting everywhere. <laughs> mm. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no go. Oh, we, just solved, we, we just solved we just solved the problem of overpopulation on our servers, so please join us and here's our website. <laughs> 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 no, um well Stop I can the volcano, only one dollar per month. <laughs> <laughs> I no um, but I can um, really I can really say this is one of the best um, ARC communities that I know. So um if you want to play ARC don't even think about the officials because it'll be a pain. And if you, well, if you insist on PVP, then it's, it's not the right cluster for you. But if you want to have a cool community and um, survival and, and with survival, I mean, not getting flattened by assholes that have been there for months longer, um, then you can definitely get that here. No, in the, or in the case if you join the official servers, you can be flattened by Chinese people. Right? Oh yeah, the Chinese guilds and gankers and stuff. That is, yeah, that is because the official servers they are fully interconnected, so you can get from one server to another. So you can like um, uh, dominate like five servers, right? And then you use all the resources of those five servers, and then you invade another server with your dozens and hundreds and thousands of dinos and um, shit you built and um, flatten those. And so what the Ch Chinese did in, well, not all the Chinese, obviously, but um, those they were talking about, what they did was um, they also DDoS the server while they streamed because you can make a lot of money um, angering Americans and Europeans um, in, on streams in, in China. And... Um, so what they did, um, they DDoSed, and so only their people could go on the server because they knew exactly when it stopped. So they would be all on the server and no one else could join because the server has a limit of 70 people. So you have a full oh. server and then it's pretty easy to destroy everything because no one is there to defend it. But Don't they have uh, off-break? No, Flash. they have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now they have the off-break, uh, the offline protection. But... Um, yeah, but uh, in, in the time when that happened, um, there was no such protection. That's actually the reason why they did it. It's still a pretty shitty, pretty shitty system, I think, um, that you can travel from server to server. Um, it should be organized in logical clusters, not in, not via the whole map or uh, all servers. It doesn't make sense. Why? I mean, we know how that ends. It'll just end at the meanest bastards with too much time on their hands will dominate all servers. <laughs> it would make sense that they did it kind of like us, that you have all the maps together in one cluster. So you had several mm -hmm. clusters with all the maps. So I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense. But that's why PvP on official servers is kind of dead. It's just, it's broken. Um, what, what bothers me the most about Wildfire is that a lot of the changes they make to the game in terms of nerfs, like the flying dino nerfs and all of that, that was aimed at PvP, but it affected the ones in PvE as well, even though it wasn't overpowered. I mean, it could have done with a bit of tweaking, for some, because some of the dinos did get extremely fast after, um, after you sped them up. But I just think they should give the unofficial servers a bit more love and a bit more freedom to change these things, give us options, because the, the game is very much classed into PvP and PvE, and they favor PvP, 
and it's a bit sad because we need to try and get around that using mods and other methods but as of now it's all right i think so I, I mean, I, I like PvP games also, but um, when I took my first looks at Ark and um, had a look, at how long does it take to do X, Y, Z? I immediately realized, okay, this is not a game you want to play in PvP because it takes just too much time to get the resources and get the dinos, get outfitted, and then lose it all in, in less than a minute. Or, or well before they did the offline protection um, while you were sleeping or whatever. So some asshole has C4 and the blows up your place. So yeah. I, I, I didn't find that very PVP. So no, that's uh, why I didn't like Rust for that exact reason. You yeah, make a lovely base, you log off, you come back and everything is gone. <laughs> like okay thanks <laughs> ex ex exactly i play rust too and um that's exactly what it reminded me of only i play when i play rust i play it for i don't know a few hours and then i never expect that anything i build still stands so but um i mean why would i build such a lovely base and then just see some kid wreck it for no reason at all it's um uh, i don't know it's uh, too much time and effort and um, so I, I never thought of um, Ark as a good PvP game, actually, except for the one server I talked about um, earlier, where they speed up everything so much that um, it's just um, dino dino fighters, basically. They could just spawn the dinos if you wanted to. If it's fast enough, fast enough access, that isn't the problem. Clicko means Ark is too broken to be played as PvP. Yeah. Yeah, definitely agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's too broken to be played as PvP. I think it's um well it's definitely not a game I would have um fun playing as PvP. And Clicko is raw again, by the way. He's um Oh, okay. He, he's switching channels. <laughs> <laughs> to disguise this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> uh it's just raw, you have to love him. Yeah, sure. We can handle anyway. such things, so... Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, anything the... Anything our viewers want to know about Ark still? Anything you want to know about Valk? Like, how the weather is in Norway at the moment, or something like that? I'm not in Norway, though, am I? Yeah, but you wouldn't know. <laughs> 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 Tell, tell us about the I weather could in Google Norway, Norway weather as well. So <laughs> <laughs> tell us about the weather in Norway because they have um, forty seconds delay, so they'll only hear it forty seconds. They have to hear it. So <laughs> I have no idea. It's probably very cold and very wet, and probably a bit slippery on the roads by now. I uh, imagine, and very windy. Sounds like That's Norway. That's the usual. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sounds great. I. So you, uh, so you just take English weather and add a little bit of cold and frozen yeah, streets and to it. Yeah, throw so. some snow yeah. and slippy, <laughs> icy roads, and that's all amazing. Well, when it comes to rain, actually, um, actually, both Traka and I should know because, well, I, I at least grew up in Hanover, and that's one of the rainiest places in Germany. Oh yeah. <laughs> If oh, there's no like... rain, you're probably already dead and in paradise. <laughs> <laughs> you're in Elysium. Ah, oh, yeah, well, true. There's a festival around here, uh, a medieval festival, and he says in, in the location they are, they are playing near Hanover, it's either hot as hell or it's rainy and slippery as it can be. So these two conditions happen to us in the summer. Nothing else. Nothing in between. Oh, we had some really nice weather in the summer here. It was really lovely. I actually managed to get a bit of tan, and that's quite an accomplishment for someone who's as pale as I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mac, Mac wants to know where you live now. So. Uh, I live. At, yeah, I live in Saint Anne, uh, London. So it's right south of Blackpool in the UK. 
and you need to um, climb back a little mini raptor before I take her home. Nope. <laughs> She's right behind you. Sweetheart. <laughs> Can't have that. Yeah. yeah, that's actually not mine. That one is um, belongs to to Anguish. So, but well, this, no, this time we shared all the dinos, but uh, te technically we still have our own, so. If you're fast enough, you wouldn't notice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those, those micro raptors are very, very fast. They're nasty beasts. I hate them when you meet them in the wild. I mean, it's not like we would have video evidence of it, so. <laughs> We could blackmail the admin, I mean, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm dying apparently. Oh yeah, it's it's very cold and... Yeah, I'm fine. Don't know what you guys said. <laughs> uh, when you... Maybe that you nicked the last frost uh, fur armor. Uh, when you settle here, one of the first things you do is you put a lot in fortitude. I have fortitude like 56. And it usually keeps me alive a bit longer here, around here. So. Um, Sounds really stupid. I didn't put anything in fortitude, and I'm suffering for it. Of course you're suffering. Go inside, there's a nice fire. <laughs> yeah, but it won't help. Yeah, and that's why there are four, actually, because I, I needed three in the beginning when I came here. I was your level, and I needed three to keep alive when it started to rain or when there was a cold day or I don't know, Valk played with <laughs> the server <laughs> perhaps. Um, anyway. I don't know what you're on about. <laughs> anyway, no more questions to ask to Valk. Anything you want to know? Meg just said that he would join the server as soon as he starts playing Ark. Oh, that's nice. You're very welcome to join us. And, uh... So if you like it here, and if you ever need any help, join Discord, because that's the place where you can get admin help if any of the bugs get to you. <laughs> Since he's one of our regulars, I bet he will neck surreal about it. So. Oh yeah, um, definitely. When Mac joins, he'll be he'll he'll get a tribe offer as soon as he steps on the server. We'll already stand there with roses and stuff. <laughs> Oh, but um, Ra says something, um, said something very nice too, so. Oh, yeah. yeah two things. Uh, jokes aside, I've played over 1,000 hours in official. I played in many PvP servers in the past, and I'm in Valk server ever since. Now I got over 4,000 hours at the moment, I gotta say. This is the best server I have ever played so far. Players are friendly, and admins really care about their players and do everything they can. Couldn't ask for a better admin team and server cluster. Ah, oh, thank you, Bathu. That's very nice. He just wants that breeding event. Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what that is. You remember that one time I said you've got to be really nice? I'm not really now. Can I get more breeding events? I said you are nice. <laughs> Okay, but unless there's something else we want to talk about. Uh, is there anything archy still? Because I think that's a very, very nice um, rock quote to, to end it. And, and thank Valk for your time. Yeah, no problem at all. Thanks for having me. It, it was, was an great. honor to have you. It was, and it was great fun um, being almost killed by, well, being killed by a Bronto, but getting our stuff back. <laughs> yeah, I, I do enjoy killing people. It's one of my favorites. I know, I know. Pleasures. <laughs> Actually, the next thing I do, I'll, I'll build an umbrella over the whole base because I still <laughs> believe you will drop those gigas. Um, mm. Death no. Voice, it wasn't my best run, uh, my, my worst run in Ark so far, so that's a good. <laughs> That's true, that's true, but well. Oh yeah, that's that's probably a good last question, because um, Tracker actually doesn't play Ark much, so after seeing the server and um, 
hearing about what um, how it's different um, from official and how it's faster um, in, in regards to taming, building, etc. So are you at least a wee bit interested in trying it again? Yeah, yeah. definitely. I have to say um, the, the the community, so the people I've I've seen so far, are very nice and that I've met. Um, I love the server settings. I love the environment and the map is just gorgeous. I want to explore it and I'm just just curi curious what happens around the corner and well you get eaten. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure, okay. That that's not <laughs> that big of a surprise that I'm getting eaten. But it's it's really a nice addition for and the the cluster setting that you can switch from map to map is is really interesting to me. So I'll I'll definitely give it a shot. Cool. Then I'll see you again here. So <laughs> I'll I'll make a room for you too once I build the living quarters. Well, once again, um, thanks, Valk, um, for um, having the interview. And um, well, I hope um, all the viewers also enjoyed it. And I actually can't I, I actually can't translate our usual end stuff into English. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of the night. Think about um, if you want to play Ark, try out this server, um, well, servers, the cluster, and we'll have a good, bright dino time together. Thanks for watching and see the rest of you on Friday at our regular podcast. So have a good night and see you then. <laughs>